to report a happy ending after a scary and stressful night last night. A 10-year-old girl ran away from her home in Golden. Madeline Malloy was found many miles away in Aurora. She'd gotten there by hiding in the back of a family friend's car. Well, this morning, Madeline knocked on a stranger's door. I opened the door, and all I could say was, oh, my God. And I grabbed her by her shoulders, and I was kind of pulling her this way. I was like, are you hungry? Do you need something to eat? Are you cold? <laughs> and she said yes. Several law enforcement agencies joined the search for the girl, and a big group of volunteers were about to join them. Our Jeff Todd talked with the coordinator of that effort. Jeff, searchers tell you they were prepared for anything. Yeah, Jim, just take a look. We're in the neighborhood and there's a lot of places like this wide open spaces. But we found out today that the combination of law enforcement agencies and volunteers has gotten much more organized over the past five years. It is a large management issue anytime you have a search for somebody and especially a child. Five years ago, there wasn't a process for the volunteers to efficiently help in the search for Jessica Ridgeway. When they decided to ask for civilians to help with the searching, uh, shortly after they activated that, they had 1,700 volunteers show up. A few months later, the Child Abduction Response Team, or CART, was formed, made up of many law enforcement agencies and civilian volunteers. By bringing um, some calm to the chaos and handling it with a system rather than you know, rushing into it with emotion, that we can be a lot more effective. CART was activated Friday morning. We saw roadblocks set up and officers handing out flyers. The community was about to start helping when the search was called off. At about 8 o'clock in the morning, we already had about a dozen people at the complex that were getting ready to go, and other people that had stopped by and said that they would be back at 9 o'clock. A successful resolution, but the team is prepared for any situation in the future. Even though this was not an abduction, like I said, we always try and treat it that way because the more resources we bring in, the, a lot, the better chance we have of resolving it with a, a safe conclusion. Another thing that CART team implemented was background checks for the civilians who show up and try and help in searches like that. We've got much more information on CBSDenver.com. For now, we're live in Jefferson County. Jeff Todd covering Colorado First.